data enthusiasts. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by numbers and spreadsheets? Wish you could make your data tell a story at a glance? Well, if that's the case, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I create and edit charts to answer some make-believe business problems. Problem one, create a data viz to show how much each MCU movie made in USD millions between 2008 and 2018. To solve this problem, we're going to create a column chart. The first step will be to select the data from movie name because that relates to the problem. I'm working on a Mac here, so I'm gonna hold down the command key and then select the box office gross in USD millions right there in column C. Once both sets of data have been selected, click insert, chart, and nice, Google has already put in the title for us, the y-axis and the x-axis. We can do some small edits here just to make it a little bit better uh, aesthetically. Anytime you want to edit a chart after you created it, just double click on it and you'll uh, get the chart editor displayed. The first change I want to do is to the formatting of the title make it bold, this is just to make it stand out. Uh, black text and the font size 24. And I'm going to apply similar changes to the uh, X and Y axis. So the X axis first, make it italic and make it a little bit bigger. And the same again with this. So that's gonna be bold italic size 16. And then I wanna do something with uh, my favorite thing, which is the data labels. The data labels are, um, well, in this case, it will be how much money in USD millions each of these movies made. And to add the data labels, just click on series, scroll down, and then select data labels. And what's pretty cool here, well, apart from the fact that it's just added all the, the, the data labels, the box office gross to each column at the top of the column, uh, what Google's done is put in the top three above just to kind of make them stand out from the rest. And now we can clearly see um, all of those and in including the top three. If the producers wanted to know how much money it made exactly, then you can see that a little bit more clearly. And this certainly solves the problem of creating a data viz to show how much each MCU movie made in USD millions between the year 2008 and 2018. The second problem, create a data viz to show the total box office gross per year, including how many movies were released that year as well. And for this, we're gonna make a line chart. Uh, first up though, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this one, work from a new data set, delete that chart, and then go down here because as much as I love having copy of, copy of, copy of for my names, I do not really. So I'm gonna change it to MCU, MCU Data Clean V2. And uh, for this, we're going to use uh, some different functions. But before we do that, um, I'm going to show you the problem I had when I was testing this earlier. First, I wanna pull all the unique years from column B. In order to do that, I need to use the unique function, which is equals unique, uh, open parentheses, and then select uh, the data there, close parentheses. And you can see that it didn't quite work as expected because it's pulling out two 2008s. The problem is, if you look back here, these are still dates like full dates, okay? So I'm gonna delete those cells and I'm going to use split text to columns to draw out or to pull out the year only. So I've selected the data and then select data there and then go to split text to columns. And I'm going to let Google detect the separators, which are the four slashes and pull them out. So just click that detect automatically and then press return. And you can see that it's now working. Now I'm gonna go down here, 
put in that unique uh, function, open parentheses, highlight the cells, close parentheses, and almost there. Now you can see just down at the bottom here, there are two 1905s. Still not quite sure what's going on. I'm pretty sure there were no MCU movies made uh, over 100 years ago. So what I need to do is to go back again, so get rid of that. And this time I'm going to change this data here to plain text. So I select the data, go back up to format, number, and then plain text. Now when I put in that uh, function, it will remove those 1905s. Okay, that's step one. I'm just gonna copy down that title there. The second thing I want to do is to count how many times each of these appeared. So I'll put in uh, movies per year there. And for this particular uh, problem, I need to use the count if function. And so what that does, it counts how many times, uh, in this case, the release date occurs within a set data range. And it looks like this. So it's equals count if, uh, open parentheses, and then select the data range. So once the data range is selected, I'm gonna put a comma, and I'm gonna select the, the 2008 here because that's the, the one I'm counting for this one. So I'm counting if, how many times 2008 occurs in this data, the small little data set right there. So select 2008, close your parentheses, and we cannot use autofill. Because if you do, the formula will be incorrect. Because this B3 to B18, that's the range. That does not change. The only thing that should change is this value that we're counting, count if. And you can see here, this B3 to B18 down here is already incorrect. So you can see it's now B4 to B19. So I'll get rid of that, and I'll go back to my formula bar here. And what I'm going to do, because I don't want to type out each count if individually, so I'm going to add in absolute cell referencing to lock down those cells. With absolute cell referencing, you only need to add a dollar sign before and after each cell reference in the count if statement or in any statement, and you put it before the B and after the B. Okay, so it's like kind of wrapping that B so it locks the B in place. And we need to do it for both or any cell references that you want to lock. So now if I put that in, the autofill does work as expected and we can just do a quick uh, count here. So we can see in 2017, there were three MCU movies released and there's three down there. The last thing we need to do is to calculate the total made for each of the years represented here. And even before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste the title. I'm not too worried about the formatting at the minute. And then I'm going to use a nuller function called equals some ifs, emphasis on the ifs. And how that works, I'll explain as I type. Um, so it's equals some ifs, open parentheses, and how it works is it will count all the instances here that match a condition here. So we first of all select the range that we need to count or to sum up, parenthesis, uh, comma, and then select the range that we are matching it against. So for instance, in 2008, we need this function to add both of these numbers here. So we'll select that range right there and then put a comma. And again, we want to go back to this cell here because that's the condition similar to count if. So when it says 2008, we want to count every time uh, there's a 2008 and a number here for box office gross beside it. And then close our parentheses and then press enter. Now again, this is not going to work because we need to use our amazing absolute cell referencing. So I'm going to cancel that, go back into the formula bar, and I'm going to put the uh, absolute cell referencing in. 
to lock those cells in place. We're done. And I'm going to drag that down. And that's all good, except I do want to add the currency. Uh, it's format number. Let's forget that for some reason. And uh, US dollar, get rid of those decimals. The final step now is just to go ahead and create that chart. So select the data and then insert chart. And Google suggests this bar chart, but I want to make a line chart because I'm measuring the difference over time. So I'm going to select a line chart right there. And I do need to do some a little bit of tidying up right here. Um, first of all, because this value here, this movies per year is so low, we definitely do need to add those data labels. So I'm going to go to customize, series, and then scroll down to data labels. Now it doesn't actually get a title, but if we were doing a presentation, we could point that out. And I feel it's necessary to include it because otherwise you might look at this chart and go, wow, why did MCU make hardly any money this year? Well, it's not just because it was Ant-Man, which I personally like. It's That was the, other than this year here in 20, uh, 2018, it was the only year where one movie was released uh, during these years here. No offense, Paul Rudd. Okay, that's almost done. We just need to add some titles. And to do that, uh, we're going to deselect the series, go back into chart and access titles. And we're going to select chart title. And it's going to be the problem. Uh, we're going to use the problem to write the title. Box office gross in USD millions between. Uh, 2008 and 2018. Not quite finished. I need to add a X and Y axis. Select horizontal axis title and give your horizontal a title there. So that's um, year movie released. And we can make that bigger later. And then finally, vertical axis title, which is uh, box office gross, USD millions. Okay, and you know what? I'm gonna add some other features in here, make it a little bit bigger, just to make it a bit easier to read. Okay, and I'll show you how I do that. So it's down to uh, grids and ticks. So I just want to put those grid lines in there and put in some major ticks, which is just like these, these ranges. I'll go ahead and add some minors too. Okay, the only thing I'm still not happy with is this here. People rightfully would ask, well, what is this, this down here? Now, we could point them to movies per year. This is your legend. Uh, the color match is there. So I think we can get around that for now. Um, if you know a better way to make this tart, Please let me know in the comments. And this chart solves the second problem.